Jubilee Jubilee's deep-rooted divisions and the new-found lines between President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga may have played a part and costed Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waiti to his seat. The Senate on Wednesday night impeached the embattled county chief, who is also charged with grafting a super-majority vote after a two-day-long session. This was despite Deputy President William Ruto's Tanga Tanga allies putting up a spirited fight to save the governor's political career. I can see, Mr. Speaker, the, the mass, the, the mob lynching of the governor. The politics of the day is favoring his lynching. But, Mr. Speaker, politics change. Times change. Wanasema msulubu, msulubu, msulubu. Lakini, lakini jamani nduguzangu, ni vizuri kuangalia sheria. We should not ignore the fact that uh, the, the threshold of the numbers was not arrived at. A total of 38 senators participated in the process, with 28 voting for Waititu's removal from office. The Kieleweke faction ganged up with Nasa and voted to uphold all the three charges against Waititu, except for Bungoma County's Senator Moses Wetangula, who conspicuously voted against the impeachment. Political analysts saying Waititu's fate was sealed after he publicly declared his support for Ruto. We have seen Ferdinand Waititu being very close to William Ruto. You know, he, there were several utterances before indicating that he would support William Ruto. So I think this is a question of, at some level, the president cleaning the house, bringing to order, indicating that if you don't talk the line politically, then uh, he will not be able to stand with you. On the other hand, at least 12 centers, a majority being those allied to Deputy President William Ruto's Tanga Tanga team, opposed Waititu's impeachment. Looking at the pattern and knowing that Jubilee's part leader is Uru Kenyatta, then you could rightly say yes, the president has been stabbing authority, is using this to even uh, bring order the Jubilee politicians. The Tanga Tanga leaning lawmakers protested Speaker Lusaka's decision to reject a plea by Waititu to file fresh evidence saying it was out of time. Order, 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 Senator. Order, Speaker, order, sir. Order. They said the chief was not accorded a fair hearing. Earlier, the Kieleweke faction ganged up with their NASA counterparts to reject the list of a 11-member committee proposed by Majority Leader Kipchumba Murkomen to consider the impeachment motion against Kiambu County Governor. The government's move to gazette the impeachment of embattled Kiambu County Governor after his ouster further raised eyebrows amongst the Kenyans. In an outpouring of concern on social media immediately, the gazette noted is emerged. Many questioned the efficiency at which the government printer had cemented Waititu's fate in print. This could be seen as a move by the head of state to deal with corrupt chiefs and government officials, with many wondering who could be next. Na hiyo safari hakuna mutu atanizuia jameni. Hiyo nimesema. A way to do Oster that appears to have been well planned with speed, with the media receiving an early morning invite from the judiciary to attend the swearing-in ceremony of James Nyoro as the county governor. That was to be presided over by the High Court Judge John Oyego, a swearing-in that did not materialize, at least just yet. Angela Cheror, K24 Evening Edition.